it's a tough loss. I mean, they're a good team. We fought. We were in there. Definitely wasn't one of our better shooting nights, but they didn't shoot it great either. You know, Corkburner affected the the rim in the second half. We were able to get downhill, finish at the rim a little bit better in the first half. I, you know, we're not doing enough to win against good teams right now, and Creighton's a really good team. I mean, hopefully. Looked like Cole Kramer was fine in the second half. Hopefully he's healthy and they can go on and win a bunch of games because would help loss, but they're, they're, they're good. I mean, they do a good job defensively. They did a good job guarding the three-point line. It's our season low threes made. You know, we we didn't shoot it great, and it was large part due to the way they guard, and they kind of run you off the line and push you down into Cole Kramer. So on our defensive end, you know, we just weren't quite good enough. We got to do a better job guarding the – ball ourself and I think we did a great job with that. Our bigs have to figure out how to guard without fouling. There's two games in a row that both Nick and Mo fouled out and not that many minutes. I mean they combined for 30 minutes and 10 fouls a night and it was something somewhere against Purdue last game. So we, we they've got to do a better job guarding without fouling. We got to do a better job not putting them in position where they need to foul. But you know, we, we had some positive things. I thought we played well in stretches, but we, we got to figure out when the close game against a good team here. Questions? Go ahead. Uh, they have been 62 points in the paint. Obviously, Nick fouling out late. What impressed you with him and then just the overall effort to take it the ball inside? Yeah, I mean, we, we, you know, we tried putting Nick different spots to get him slashing. You know, the, you know, we knew that Kalkbrenner would play off him, just kind of clog up the lane. So we tried to spread him out, get him moving a little bit. We were able to get him on some of those lobs and, no, he's, he's got to do a better job at the free throw line. But I, I liked his energy. I thought he played hard. He's, we need him to be good for us. He, he was good. He's just He's got to make free throws. He's got to learn how to guard without fouling so we can keep him on the floor a little bit more. And we, we need to get points when he gets fouled. Okay. Uh, Creighton averages 31 threes, 20 attempts a game. He held only 18 times. You feel that your team has to keep it the best game plan. I mean, okay. We did that part of the game plan was – Decent. I did think they just missed some open threes, and we got fortunate. I mean, Shireman on that underneath out of bounds play was wide open, just missed it. Thought Ashworth had a couple wide open ones. So we didn't want him to get any off. We said we wanted less than 20 three point attempts. We did that. We still weren't good enough on the defensive end to beat him. I gave up a 1.25. That's not very good defense at all. So, you know, that part of it, we were all right. A lot of other parts, we, we were not. You know, we, we got to do a better job. I didn't think we did a great job on Alexander. I mean, he he got in the paint a little bit, shot some tough shots, made him 8 of 15. You know, he only took one one three, but he has 22 points. So, you know, let him in scoring. I, I didn't think we did a very good job on him, to be honest with you. Any other questions? Go ahead. Um, you know, what did you say about Mark to still get, you know, 19 points and then one five to three, but to still, you know, Get player in this yeah, I mean, Mark, Mark's tough, physical. He's played in the offense before. He can get downhill. You know, he's a strong guard. You know, we thought we could attack some of their perimeter players. You know, he got to the offensive glass. He led our team three offensive. No, he didn't. My fault. I was looking somewhere else. He, uh, but but he, my, my bad on that. I did think he did a decent job getting downhill to the rim, though. And, you know, he, he didn't get to the free throw line once, which is an issue. I think, you know, he needs to – it's a guy that typically gets fouled a lot and for whatever reason didn't make it to the free throw line tonight, but he's a tough physical guard that gets downhill. On the right. Yeah. Uh, Nate, you know, you guys uh, played your first two road game, tough environment, uh, didn't shoot all that well, and you had some foul trouble. Uh, still a three-point game. I know surely you're not in the moral victory, but does this bode well, do you think, for down the road as your team continues to develop? Look, in, in our four losses, we've shown that we're right there with all the best teams in the country, but we don't do enough winning stuff to actually win the game. So I, I think it reaffirmed what we already knew after the Purdue game, Clemson, Ohio State. We, I mean, you look at the efficiency metrics – a lot of them have his top 10 in the country. Nobody in the country has his top 10 because we don't make enough winning plays in the games. We're right there. Our offense is efficient enough. Our defense stinks right now. And we don't make enough winning plays. We had a big stop late in the game. We don't box out. They get an old board. Like, we, we couldn't get stops when we needed it. 
we're, we're in there. We had a lead on him in the second half. We give up a big run there, kind of from that, I think it was the eight-minute mark, kind of down to about the four that, you know, you go every four-minute media timeouts. That eight to four mark was a disaster for us. We had some, some of our better players not playing well on offense, and our defense wasn't good enough. I think they went on a 9-0 run. Kind of in that in that mark to take a six uh, six point lead, and we we got to make winning plays when it's winning time. Get down the last eight minutes of the game, and it's in a tight game. You got to figure out how to get some stops and some rebounds, and get good good quality shots on the other end. And we're not doing that right now. Anything else? Last one. Uh, what did you think of your team's effort crashing the glass tonight? I mean, everyone was all bubbled. It was great for the first thirty minutes or so, and then we just I don't know how many of their seven on the offensive end. We were pretty good most of the game. Defensively, we did a pretty good job keeping them off the old boards. And then the last five minutes, eight minutes, whatever it was, I thought the floodgates kind of opened. I think they had five old boards late in the game after we'd held them to almost none. But like I said, it's winning time. You're in a close game. We got to make winning plays, and we got we got to go get defensive rebounds when it's winning time. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks.